What is up, Stackin' Ohana? It's Aloha Stacker, and welcome back to another video. We are still at 899 subscribers. Can we get to 850, or sorry, 950 by the end of the month? I sure hope so. Please help me get there. And today, today we are going to talk some Greek mythology. Not all of it, a very small portion of it, but today we are going to talk about Zeus. Zeus is the one we're going to talk about, and we're going to start by showing off a coin that has a 13,500 mintage. It came out last year. And it's the god Zeus. And this is Zeus right here. Uh, this is the one ounce mintage. But this is not what we're really here. This is not what you really want to see. You've all seen these before. They're everywhere, right? You've seen a lot of these. But how many of these have you seen? How many five ounce, beautifully uncirculated Zeuses have you seen? And the difference is this one's a 2021 Tuvalu. But this is a five ounce coin, 450 mintage. I want to thank Spectacular for this because as a member of his channel, I was able to get in on this from LPM Hong Kong early before the prices went off the chain. <laughs> Those of you who know, know that this coin is now going for what, close to $400, $500? Well, this one I was able to pick up for, I think it was $249.99. And uh, thank you very much for getting me in on that early. So sometimes uh, ha paid memberships have their benefit. It came with this, Certificate of Authenticity, the God of Olympus, Zeus. And y'all know Poseidon is coming real soon. I know a lot of people are excited for that, even myself. So it's a 2021 silver, $5 denomination, four nines fine, brilliant uncirculated Tuvalu from the per manufactured by the Perth Mint. 450 total. This is 0445 is the serial number of this beautiful coin. And some other uh, stuff written there that's not, I don't need to read. So very cool. So we got ourselves Zeus. I also got the one ounce. Now, these are the only two that I own. I never ended up getting the antique version. I wish I, I mean, I tried so hard to get the antique five ounce, just could not get it. I had it in my cart, but then the whole LPM website just completely crashed when it went live. But the one ounce, on the other hand, that's a cool one. So I got one of each and I'm super excited about that. So now I want to talk about Zeus a little bit. Um, if you don't want to uh, hear, it's going to take about five minutes. I'm going to read a nice history and biography of Zeus. It's got a lot of great information. So if you want to hear, continue on. Uh, if not, it's okay too. Uh, but let's, let me go ahead and get started. So Zeus is the Olympian god of the sky and, th and the thunder, the king of all other gods, men, and consequently the chief figure in Greek mythology. The son of Kronos and Rhea, he is probably most famous for his infidelity to his sister and wife Hera. Athena, Apollo, and Artemis, Hermes, Dionysus, Hercules, Hell of Troy, and the Muses are all children of his numeral erotic affairs. Hephaestus, Hebe, and Ares are his legitimate children. So Zeus's name is thought to have originated from the ancient Greek word for bright. The word has close connection with dyes, which is the Latin word for day, and has a very ancient history. Therefore, many mythologists believe that Zeus is one of the oldest Greek gods. So that's pretty cool. Usually Zeus is portrayed with a scepter in one hand and a thunderbolt in the other. So let's take a look at the coin and look at it. We've got a scepter and we've got a lightning bolt. Both symbols of his authority. Sometimes he wears a crown of oak leaves, which I don't see in this coin, and the oak was deemed to be his sacred tree. Homer repeatedly describes him describes him as the Aegis bearing. The age the Aegis was an enormous shield which Zeus frequently carried with him, lending to his daughter Athena from time to time. In addition, his own pet, the giant golden eagle, called Atos Dios. So there's no shield in here, but but his eagle is right there in the corner. So they got so they did a pretty good job on this coin getting it down packed. Considered the ruler of the heavens and the governor of weather, Zeus was also associated with wisdom and awareness, with authority and destiny, with battles and power. In fact, Homer says that before the fight between Achilles and Hector, Zeus weighed their lots and blessed the outcome. Further down, the poet even claimed that Zeus owns two urns filled with ills and blessings, the gifts which he gives to every mortal in the amount he decides. In relation to many other roles Zeus had, he acquired many different epithets. Some of them are warlike, oathkeeper, guest patron, all Greek, and savior. Paradoxically, paradoxically, Zeus is both the youngest and the oldest son of Cronus and Rhea. Namely, soon after the creation of the world, the then ruler of the gods, Cronus, who had learned that one of his children would overthrow him, swallowed Zeus's three sisters and two brothers at birth, and those were Demeter, Hero, Hestia, Hades, and Poseidon. Zeus would have eaten, been eaten himself if Rhea hadn't slipped Cronus a stone-wrapped swaddling. 
I don't even know what that is. <laughs> if you know what that is, let me know in the comments. There, Zeus was raised by nymphs and met his first wife, Metis, or Wisdom. On her advice, he masked himself as an Olympian cupbearer and tricked his father into drinking poisoned wine. The wine made Cronus vomit so much that he ultimately disgorged Zeus's siblings intact and ready for revenge. This, their second birth, made the youngest among them, Zeus, actually their oldest brother. <laughs> so that is pretty interesting. Take me guys a look at the uh, this side. Thus, they had no problem acknowledging his authority. Led by him and helped by the one-eyed Cyclops and the hundred-handed Hectonchires, Zeus freed them all from Cronus' imprisonment. The siblings overthrew Cronus and the Titans during the decade-long war. Zeus and his brothers drew lots to share the world between them. Poseidon got the sea, Hades the underworld, and Zeus the sky. Finally, Zeus was crowned to be ruler of all gods and men, referring to referred to universally as father. However, Zeus didn't get off to a great start. His grandmother, Gaia, was angry at him for imprisoning the Titans, so she summoned her children, the Gigantes, to avenge her. Another war followed, but the Olympians soon prevailed once again. This enraged Gaia even more, and so she gave birth to Typhoeus, a giant fire-blowing serpentine monster, so mighty that even Zeus needed some help from Hermes and Pan to defeat him in a cataclysmic battle. As the young ruler, Zeus was apparently too prideful and petulant, so Hera, Poseidon, and Apollo, and maybe everyone else but Hestia, decided to teach him a lesson. While he was sleeping, they stole his thunderbolt and bound him with 100 knotted cords. Zeus was powerless, but the Nereid Thetis acted quickly and called Briareus the Hectonshire, who used his hundred arms to untie him in a second. Zeus brutally punished the three leaders of the rebellion, especially Hera, and they swore to never challenge him again. Pretty interesting. Very, very interesting. So Zeus was prophesied to become a great, greater leader than his father. Zeus chained Prometheus to a rock and tormented him for ages, but Prometheus stubbornly refused to reveal to him the secret. In the end, the reasons we don't know, because a large part of the play where this story is told is lost, the Titan did tell Zeus that the woman in question was Thetis. So the gods stopped pursuing her and gave her to Peleus. The son born out of his marriage became a celebrated Greek hero, in fact, possibly the greatest among them all, Achilles. And we all know Achilles from... Uh, Troy. If you haven't seen that movie, it's actually a pretty good movie, but it does discuss, uh, you know, Troy. So according to Hesiod, Zeus had the very same problem with his first wife, Metis, warned that their child may be a threat to him. Zeus decided to swallow his pregnant wife. Nevertheless, the child, fully grown and armored, was eventually born. But from the forehead of Zeus, it is, it is none other than Athena, the goddess of wisdom herself. After Zeus married Themis, who bore him Hore and the Fates, his third wife, Eurynome, who brought the Cherites to the world, his sister Demeter followed. She gave birth to Persephone with his fifth wife, Menemzine, Zeus begot the Muses. After Zeus's sixth wife, Leto became the mother of Apollo and Artemis. Zeus's seventh and final wife was his sister Hera. Knowing her sympathy for animals, he wooed her as a virgin by transforming himself into a distressed little cuckoo, which Hera took in the arms to warm it. At that moment, Zeus turned back into himself and slept with her. Ashamed, Hera agreed to marry him. However, theirs would prove to be a bittersweet marriage, because Zeus, to say the least, was a promiscuous god. Bearing the name, bearing the shape of many different animals, he had numerous love affairs with many nymphs and mortals, which made Hera jealous. Some say that she scolded him for this. Disguised as a serpent, he even slept with his mother, Rey. Consequently, many gods and heroes of Zeus's children, it is impossible to list them all. Zeus is called Jupiter in Roman mythology. Additionally, his powers and symbolism and some of the stories woven around him are similar to those other deities, such as the Norse gods Thor and Odin, the Hinduist deity Indra, and the Slavic thunder god. Zeus is persuasive in ancient literary resources or sources. You can read about them practically anywhere. A good start, though, is Hesiod's Theogony, and Aeschylus, Prometheus Bound. So here's a couple Q&A, just common uh, questions and answers that, that uh, people get from time to time about Zeus, just so they know who he is. Who was Zeus? Zeus was the Olympian god of the sky and thunder, the king of all gods and men, and consequently the chief figure in Greek mythology. The son of Cronos and Rhea, he is probably the most famous for his infidelity to his sister wife Hera. What did Zeus rule over? Zeus ruled over the sky, the thunder, the lightning, the weather, the air, the justice, the kings, the fate, and the people. Where did Zeus live? Zeus's home was on Mount Olympus. 
Who were the parents of Zeus? The parents of Zeus were Kronos and Rhea. Who were the brothers and sisters of Zeus? Zeus had six siblings. He had Hestia, Hades, Hera, Poseidon, Demeter, and Chiron, who was a half-brother. Who was the consort of Zeus? Zeus's consort was Hera. How many children did Zeus have? Well, he had 26 children. He had Atis, Angelos, Aphrodite, Apollo, Ares, Artemis, Athena, Dionysus, Elithia, Enyo, Eris, Ursa, Hebe, Helen of Troy, Harmonia, Hephaestus, Hercules, Hermes, Minos, Nemesis, Pandia, Persephone, Perseus, Radamanthus, the Graces, and the Hooray. <laughs> That's a mouthful, right? There's so many children. Uh, so were the symbols of Zeus. Zeus's symbols were the thunderbolt, the eagle, the eagle, the bull, and the oak tree, and the aegis. And as you can see, you got a couple there. So you got a thunderbolt, you got his eagle, and the coin. So they did a pretty good job on that coin, at least catching a lot of that. And uh, his sacred plants were the oak tree and the olive tree. And that is all the information I could bring up in a short amount of time on Zeus to show off. Uh, but I get to show you the one ounce coin, the five ounce beautiful uh, uncirculated coins. Uh, I'm still not sure whether I want to uh, sell this or not. So if, if something you're interested in and you think it's cool and you're interested, uh, make me an offer and we'll see where we can go with that. Uh, they're going between four and $500. So if you can, whatever you find is the best price is probably what I'll go with if I decide to sell it. But let me know if you're interested and I'll think about it. But this is it. This is Zeus and he is the king of the gods and then soon we'll get the second one. Poseidon is coming out this year. I can't wait to see it. I hope they do a great job designing this. Uh, I'm super excited along with a lot of other people in the community because I've seen them talking about it and they can't wait. So with that, I want to say aloha. Oh, wait, hold up. We're going to talk about real quick uh, the next video. The video after this one is going to be my Libertods video part two. And oh boy, do I have a whole bunch of new Libertods to show off. So get ready. It's coming. So with that, I say aloha and mahalo.